Hello Tarkovets, in today's video I will show you my personal settings and what I have set up for Tarkov to run smoother and to have the best quality of the game. We are starting with the launcher because here are three settings that I want to change. Starting with the logs, you will have a lot of folders here. You can delete all of them because these are folders that are used for a bug report. If you don't report a bug, you can delete this. It will, it will not affect your game. After you delete it, don't forget to empty the recycle bin to delete them completely. And you will gain a lot of space if you didn't do this since you installed the Tarkov. Next, we will want to do clear cache once a day before starting the game. Clear the cache, you will, the game will run more smoothly, at least for me. Now, the settings. Uh, launcher settings they have changed the launcher but what do you want to change here is these two options when I close the launcher window exit the launcher completely and when I launch the game again exit the launcher completely now let's start the game and see what settings do we have inside it on the game I want to tell you that I have a 3070 Ti and a Ryzen 5 5600X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So now, the settings. These are my current settings on the game tab. Starting with the language, put it in what you want. I like the English. I don't have Romanian, so I will keep it on, on English. The main tab background is the background that you see when the game is loading. I like the labs one. Quick slots, I like to auto hide them, not to see them on, all the time on my screen. Tummy line stains I always shown because I want to see how much further I can run or when I do I need to stop. The health condition I like to be on auto hide. These are all preferential settings. This is the new one that was added with the patch 014. So I keep it in on hotkey. I don't have it on auto. Now, uh, automatical run cleaner and only use physical cores. These two settings does nothing for me at least. Play with them. I would like to recommend if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or lower, use this automatic run cleaner or restart the game every five, six raids or so. The FOV on my current PC, I'm not losing FPS. If I keep the FOV on the max on the 75, I like it on this way. But if you have a lower PC, you might consider uh, uh, lowering this value to I don't know, 60 is the best value. If you have a lower end PC. The head bubbling, if you have it on one, I'm sorry, but you are a weirdo. Put it on 0.2 because this is only give you a headache, nothing more. And I want to see the malfunction notification. But if you want the hideout to be preloaded, so when you enter the hideout, it will load a lot faster, then you must press this. I have a good PC, so I don't need that because I don't use so often my hideout. Now the graphics tab. Screen resolution, keeping it on native uh, monitor resolution. Mine is uh, full HD, so I will not change it. I will not recommending you to change this uh, resolution. Screen mode, I'm using borderless because I alt up a lot, but for FPS, use it on full screen. You will gain FPS if you are using on full screen. Aspect ratio, I like to play on 16 by 10. If you are playing it on 16 by 9, it's up to you. It is only a personal preference. Try it. It makes the scopes a little bit flat. So they are not perfect circle. They are a little bit flatter. So maybe you will like it. The V-Sync is uh, unchecked. The texture and shadow settings are completely up to you. I have a mid-range PC so I can play with them. The texture and quality impacts only the streets map. On any other map you can use it on high. On streets I recommend you to use it on low and or try the medium settings. Don't use it on low because you will not get anything. So use it on medium at least. The same goes for the shadows. They have a pretty small impact, but I like it to keep it on low because some of the shadows in this distance aren't so impactful, making it easy to spot players if they are in the shadow. Object LOD is one of the settings that uh, significantly impact the FPS. 
I've noticed that dramatic FPS loss if you are have it higher than 2 so it's your choice I personally using a 2 but you can try it see how it runs maybe your PC is stronger than mine and you can use it at 2.5 Regarding the overall visibility, I have it set at 1000 and I recommend the same for you. I never had an issue with uh, not spotting players on the distance, so I believe the 1000 is the perfect value. Setting uh, overall visibility higher than 1000, you will uh, notice a significant FPS decrease. I use TAA for anti-aliasing, but you can experiment with TA high due to frequent recording, I prefer TAA. For resampling, I recommend keeping it at 1x off, turning off DLSS, AMD FSR 1.0 and AMD FSR 2.2. The HBAO is set to max performance as uh, in my experience it provides the most FPS. SSR is set to low, anisotropic filters, NVIDIA reflex are both set to off. For the NVIDIA reflex you can try it on on and boost because I know some uh, systems will uh, increase your uh, FPS but for me personally on my PC it is better to have it on off so feel free to play it see what fps you gain after you change it on on and boost darkness i like it to have it on 0.7 it makes the overall visibility a little bit sharper so this is a custom option you can set it as you like the lobby limit i have it on 16 and the game fps also i have it at 144 for the bottom settings I'm using a high quality color because make the game look beautiful. Same from the chrome aberration and the streets of Tarkov lower texture resolution to make the streets run smoother. All other settings I'm not recommending. Grass shadow only a lower F a your FPS same from MIP streaming. MIP streaming actually can be good if you have a better PC. But these are my personal settings. For post FX, these are my current post FX settings. The only change that I'm using and I recommend you to do is changing uh, color grinding to feather and put the intensity about 85 or so if you are doing uh, night runs only. This will make your MVG grayscale. So there are no more green, it is gray, so you will love it, trust me. Try it and let me know what do you think about it. Now, the sound settings. These are my personal settings, I'm using uh, binaural audio. The only settings that uh, make sense on this is interface settings. This is when you open a box, the sound that you are hearing from the box is uh, lower than my game volume because uh, I want to hear if someone is pushing me or not. Any other settings is up to you, I don't like the hideout volume, music, you can change your character voice from okay, here so if you yeah, like to. But it's all up to you. Now, let me show you a few things that you can set outside of the Tarkov and make your game look smoother and gain some FPSs. First of all, be sure your um, RAM are set to best uh, options they have, best uh, speed they have, mine are 3200 MHz, so be sure that you are not on 2100 or something like that. Check your RAM speed because Darkov is eating RAM basically. Another setting that I recommend you to change from the launcher. Go to game settings, or browse local files. Then on the escape from Tarkov, right click, properties, go to compatibility. I know that a lot of people in the past recommend this to be checked. But now it is kind of boo boo. Don't use it. Leave it unchecked because you will gain FPS if you have it unchecked. If you have it checked, unclick it, then hit apply, OK, and you can close this. After that, for the NVIDIA control panel, the only thing that I'm using currently are the changes for adjust column settings. These are my current ones. Are, uh, these are replacing the filter that uh, BSG banned in the past because the game looked too good can stop it and copying it 
I recommend using it because they are very good, make the game looks a little bit better. So these are my settings. Feel free to let me know if you have gained some FPS or maybe you have lost some FPSs. Let me know in the comment section area below. I will recommend you to drop a like and hit that subscribe button because we are posting 3 new videos every week so you must stick around because you don't want to miss them. Let me know what is the best settings for you, what is the setting that you didn't know and what do you recommend? Maybe I will learn something from you. So I want to thank you all and see you in the next video.